In this video, I will guide you to set up automated backups for Coolify. This only backups the Coolify database. There are two types of backups on Coolify, local backups and S3 storage backups. Local backups are stored on the server where Coolify is running on. S3 storage backups are stored on the S3 bucket you connect to Coolify. Coolify supports most of the S3 providers like Hetzner Object Storage, Cloudflare R2, and many others. But for this video, I will show you to set up AWS S3. Click on the S3 storage option on the sidebar, then click on the Add button. Here we need few data like endpoint, access key, and more values. First, give this storage a name. I will name it as YouTube Tutorial. Then I will go to my AWS dashboard and create a S3 bucket. On the AWS dashboard, just search the word S3 and click on the first result you get. This page will look a bit different for you if you don't have any S3 bucket. You will probably see a button called Create Bucket. Just click on it and follow along with me. I will click on this Create Bucket button and give my bucket a name, which is Aeroflare YouTube Tutorial. I will copy this name and paste it on Coolify as the bucket name. My buckets region is shown here as Northeast because I have selected my region as Seoul, Korea here. So I will copy this app Northeast too and paste it on Coolify as region. Now we have the region name so we can set up the endpoint. The endpoint will be HTTPS S3 dot region name, then dot Amazon AWS dot com. We need access key and secret key to set up this S3 storage, so let's keep going. On AWS dashboard, we only gave our bucket a name, but didn't created the bucket yet. We have a lot of options to configure here. Only change these settings if you clearly know what you're doing. I won't touch any of these option, and I will just click on the Create Bucket button. Now we have our S3 bucket. Next step is to set up a way to access this bucket. For this, we have to set up a new user on IAM. On the search bar, type IAM and click the first option you see. From the left sidebar, click on Policies option. Here you will see a lot of policies provided by AWS, but we don't need them. Click on the Create Policy button because we need our own custom policy for Coolify. Click this JSON option, then it will show you this policy editor. I have a policy on my website which I have given link in the description for you. Just copy this and paste it on AWS dashboard. Remove this line 15 because this is a JSON file and comments are not supported here. Now we have to replace this with our bucket name. I will go back to Coolify dashboard to get the bucket name and paste it here. We have to do the same for the next line. This policy allows Coolify to add and delete data on our S3 bucket. Click on the next button. Give this policy a name and click on create policy button. Now the policy is created. We have to set up a user account for Coolify to use to access the S3 bucket. From the left sidebar, click on Users option. Click on the Create User button and give the user account a name. Click this Attach Policies option and search for the policy we just created. Select our policy and click on Next button. We don't have to change anything here, so click on Create User button. Now our user account is created, click on the username and click on Create Access Key option. Choose the option Other and click the Continue button. We don't have to change anything here, so click on Create Access Key. Now our access key is generated. AWS won't show the secret key after you click this Done button, so save these keys somewhere safe. Copy this access key and secret key and paste it on Coolify. Now we have all the details we need to set up this S3 storage, so click on this button. Now click the Settings option from the sidebar and click on Backup. If this is your first time visiting this page, then it will show you a button called Enable Backups. Clicking that button will show you this page. Here we have to enable Backup and S3, then select the storage we just set up. The backup is just a cron job, so you can control how often this backup run. Backup retention are how many backups are stored. Local means the backup on your server, and S3 means the backup on your S3 bucket. You can control how many backups are stored either by number of days or total number of backups. Also, you can set a maximum storage limit. Coolify will delete older backups and stores new one, so if one of these conditions are met, then a very old backup will be deleted and new backup is stored. Here you will see the backup executions. I don't have any executions yet, but you will see if you have any backups. If I click on Backup Now button, then you will see Coolify did a backup and stored it locally and on my S3 bucket. 
setting up backup for other storage provider is very different than this. The only part that differs is getting the endpoints and access keys. I can try to create videos on setting up for each provider, so let me know in the comments below if I have to make a video on them, but make sure to tell me the name of the storage provider. That's it for this video, see you on next one.